In this video, we will be studying the elements of the catalytic reactor. The catalytic reactor system requires pressurised gases, with air, hydrogen and nitrogen currently in use. The flow of gas is regulated by a mass flow controller, which controls the flow in the range of 3 to 30 litres per hour. Next to the flow controller unit is the furnace temperature control unit, which maintains the three-zone furnace at the desired temperature. The gas supply from the mass controller runs through this line and connects to the main reactor input. The liquid feedstock is supplied to the reactor using a HPLC pump operating in a range of 5 to 50 litres per hour. The liquid feed is supplied to the reactor via the pipeline as shown in this video. Gas and liquid streams are mixed prior to entering the top of the reactor tube at this feedstock intersection and the furnace is divided into three thermal zones in order to maintain a uniform temperature profile inside the reactor tube. The reactor tube runs down the centre of the furnace. The feedstocks pass through the reactor to the catalyst where some are converted to the desired products and the unreacted feedstock is considered as a waste stream. Both streams are collected and separated offline. This is important as the product is often partitioned between the gas and liquid phases. This concludes the short recording of the catalytic reactor rig available in the laboratories.